Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automate document creation from Google Forms responses, generating either Google Docs or PDFs using a very simple method. This tutorial will save you tons of time and streamline your workflow. Let's get started. First, you'll need the special template for this process. You can find the link in the description below. Make a copy for yourself, and we'll walk through how to use it. All right, once you've got the template open, the first step is to link your Google form to this template file. Follow the steps shown in this video so you can link your form responses to the Google Sheet. All right, done. The form responses are now stored here. First up, fill up the name of the form responses sheet in this cell. Next, you will need to get the URL of the folder where you want the new documents or PDFs to be saved. Let's go to the folder which is empty right now and we copy the URL here. Then we head back and paste the URL over here. Okay, next we need the URL of the Google Docs template that we will be using to generate the files. Let's head to the template and we will copy the URL over here. And we head back and paste the URL right here. Next up, we need to fill in the column letter. This is the column from your form responses that will be used to name the generated files. In this case, I'm going to put B, so the file names will come from the values in column B of the responses. Now let's move on to setting up the placeholders in the Google Docs template. In the template, you'll need to add placeholders that correspond to the form responses. The format for placeholders is simple. Use angle brackets around a letter. Each letter represents a column from your form responses. Go ahead and complete filling up the placeholders for all the required sections in this template. All right, almost done. All you need to do is go to the custom menu at the top and select this to install the form trigger. Since this is the first time you're running the script, Google Sheets will ask for permissions. Just follow the prompts shown in this video to grant access. Okay, great, it's done. All right, now it's time to test everything. I'm going to fill up the form here and see if the automation works. Once the form is submitted, I'll head over to the folder where the files should be saved. Let's refresh the folder. And there it is. The Google Doc has been created. Let's click on it and open it up to check. As you can see, everything is captured perfectly. Each placeholder has been replaced with the correct form response data. It works just as expected. Now let's go back to the Google Sheet and check the Links Sheet. If we look here, the file link has been added as a clickable hyperlink. I'll click on it, and it takes me straight to the generated file. Super convenient. Okay, next up, I want to try out the Process Existing Responses option. I'll go back to the custom menu, click on Process Existing Responses, and give it a few seconds to do its magic. And yes, the file has been regenerated successfully from the existing form data. Everything is working smoothly. Next, I'll fill out the form again to see if it still works with a second submission. I'm going to submit the form, head back to the folder, and refresh it. And there's the second file. It's working perfectly for multiple submissions. Okay, if you want a PDF file instead, then you need to tick this box here. I'll fill out the form once more to test it out. Okay, let's head back to the folder and refresh. And now we've got a PDF file. And the link also points to the PDF file directly. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Google Sheets tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.